I didn't think to take any videos of this during the build process. I have been putting stuff on TikTok, but uh, I've been neglecting to do YouTube videos. But I built this regular cab short bed Duramax. I buy a lot of this body style truck, and last year I realized I had everything here to put this together. I had a wrecked crew cab, the chassis was good, the engine and transmission were supposed to be good. I wasn't able to drive it because it was wrecked. Um, this cab came off of a long bed with a six liter. I had that short bed off of a different crew cab and the front clip came off of a Yukon. The uh, HD grill and the bumper came off of the blue crew cab, that hood came off the blue truck that this chassis came from. So, I shortened the frame. I've seen a lot of guys take the move the leaf spring hangers forward on a regular cab long bed and then take the excess length off the back, but that doesn't end up being like a factory frame would have been. So with the crew cab, you just got this long straight section in the middle and it slid over the front section of the frame. So I used a crew cab frame, cut the excess length out of the middle, slid it back over the front portion and welded it on. Just had to re-drill holes for the cross member, transmission cross member and the torsion bar cross member. So while I had the body off, I painted the frame and suspension. I had a crew cab drive shaft shortened. The interior was in decent shape. This thing had sat in a field for a couple years, so it was full of mouse poop. I pulled it all, I pulled the whole interior out, pressure washed the carpet. Really should have just ordered a new carpet. Um, seats aren't too bad. These are cheap on Amazon. I always buy a new switch uh, panel because these things are always broken. And I ordered a new console lid. These are also pretty cheap on Amazon. It hasn't showed up yet. Put a nice double din head unit in it. Tried to recover the headliner. I got this at a fabric store and just used the glue they had at the, is like a hobby store and it, it is not holding. So I'm gonna have to redo that. The crew cab was an 04 with a LLY. This engine's got like 228,000 miles on it. Runs great. Um, had a different intake. They deleted the EGR cooler. Had, had an Edge programmer on it, one of the older ones. I took it out because the monitor for it was gone. And I've got EFI Live, so I'm going to tune this. You might notice this is off of LB7. I was missing the AC compressor, but I had two LB7s that I parted out, so I just swapped to the older compressor and lines. Rust isn't isn't really an issue where I live. Um, unfortunately, this cab isn't in the best shape cosmetically. It's really not too bad. It does have a couple dents. I think I've got some PDR tools, so I'm going to try to pull these out. Just use a little touch-up paint. I would like to repaint this whole truck, but I've got a lot of other projects to do, so. This bed, um, they had tried, it looks like they had tried to attach this bed cap with some kind of silicone and it just dripped down both bedsides and I took an eraser wheel, tried to get this off, it won't come off. And it's got some funky, it's got some funky like paint going on on this side. I don't know what the heck somebody sprayed on this. It looks like crap. I'm gonna try to wet sand that off. So it runs, it goes into reverse, doesn't go into drive. I'm a tech, I've been a tech for 20 years, but I'm not a transmission guy specifically, but um, I used my scan tool to diagnose this thing, narrowed it down to, it's gotta be an internal clutch pack problem. I'm guessing the C1 clutch, cause that's uh, applied in first gear and it's, it attempts to move forward for a few seconds. It's obviously slipping, then it goes into neutral, into the you know shift range inhibit on the dash. So I need to rebuild the transmission in it. Um, I built this to sell. It's for sale as is. I will take 10 grand as is. Um, I was gonna try to get 13 out of it. If the transmission was good, I'll knock off three grand for the transmission. Um, so if somebody's interested in buying this thing for 10 grand, I know a lot of people would rather put a built trans in it anyway. Perfect candidate for that. Clean up the body a little, you know, do whatever the heck you want with it. This could be an awesome little race truck or whatever you want. It does have a clean title. This cab was from a six liter truck. So whatever an 03 2500 HD with a six liter book's at, that's what the book value would be on the, on the cab. But, uh, as it sits, I'd like 10 grand.